Hey everybody, so this is the chapter uh, nine and 10 quiz access number eight. And number eight here is a continuation of number six and seven. And it's all this payroll for the BMX company. Um, and so for this one, it tells us they have one employee. Again, it's just the FICA rate, uh, the FICA social security and Medicare rates, and then the federal unemployment taxes and the state unemployment taxes. Um, and then it tells us to do the September 30th journal entry and record the employer's payroll taxes. And it, what does it want us to use? Which version? Oh, assuming situation A. All right. So we're using situation A right here. And we're going to calculate the federal unemployment uh, and state unemployment taxes. Um, so the employer payroll taxes. What does it want us to do? Okay, so it wants us to do the employer version, okay? So, or the, or the amount the employer has to pay. So on the previous problem, we figured out how much the employee has to pay. So here, the employer is gonna pay Medicare, uh, Social Security. That's really weird to me, I like to put Social Security first. The federal unemployment and the state unemployment. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is figure out how much of their pay is subject to these taxes. Um, and in this case, uh, since they've only earned $5,400 so far this year, all of it's going to be subject to um, their entire $2,400 payment. It's going to be subject to the, the Medicare and Social Security. But we can see that state or sorry, federal unemployment. All right, federal unemployment is 6% and state unemployment are 5.4% of the first 7,000 paid to the employee. So since they've already earned 5,400, only $1,600 of the September paycheck are gonna be subject to these taxes. So tax rate, 6.2%. Oh, wait, no, that's for Social Security. 1.45 for Medicare. 0.2 for Social Security. And then 0.6% for federal. And 5.4% for state. Go ahead and check our work. Looks like we're all good. So now we're ready to go to the general journal entry. All right. So for the general journal entry, we're going to record uh, what the state, let's see, record the employer's payroll tax expense uh, and its related liabilities. Okay. So we're just going to do. Payroll tax expenses is our debit. And then we're just going to credit each of those entries we just made uh, as a liability. Uh, well, I'm going to see that they probably have us do them separately. Yeah, so we're going to have our Medicare taxes payable, our Social Security taxes payable, our federal unemployment taxes payable and our state unemployment taxes payable. I know, I mean, going, when I scroll, it's so slow, but good for you, you could just skip forward a few sec sections. So uh, I'm gonna go back and look at, yeah, I'm gonna go back and look at the previous one. So my Medicare is 3480 and my social security is 14880. And then my federal unemployment was $9.60. 
and my state unemployment was 86.40, so 9.60 and 86.40. And I can add all these up, or I can go back one more time and just look at the total of 279.60, which is going to be our payroll tax expense. Again, I'll check my work. And it looks like I'm all good on both of them. So uh, there you go. That's number eight on the chapter nine and 10 quiz access. And I hope you have a great day.